Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewers' discretion is advised. My name is Redemption Beppo. I'm from Bonluka Government area in River State. For 18 good years, I and my younger sister have been isolated from the outside world by my parents. I've never been to school. I've never spoken to grown ups that are not my parents. I was born in Lagos State. Then I grew up to be like one one year old. He came down to a place called Imidili in River State. So news mobile, that's where I grew up. And in this time I was not exposed to the outside world. I grew up being enclosed in the house. I was not allowed to go out, socialize with friends, or do any harsh shows that take me out, like air on air and My father is a pastor, and what he does for a living is go out to public places and preach, like to shops, markets, offices, those kind of those kind of places, and then they will give to me with money or food or other things needed in the house. We bring it back, and that's how we lived throughout those years of my life. I always wondered why they always live their life in the kind of shutdown, like they are waiting for something. So I would just, my parents would just like, any any of them, my my father and my mother would just say like, they are waiting on God to show them the next part of life. I did not go to any formal school like other children did. I always got other children going to school, but I never went to any formal school. I was schooled at home by my mother. My mother taught me all the subjects I knew. My father did a Church close out, close to the place where we stay. A canopy, just so simple canopy. That we, me, my mom, and my sister. They were the only members of the church, and he was a pastor. We are always isolated indoors. So the point is that rain season last year, floods came to our house up to like four times. The highest was the one that reached our waist going to our chest. My father immediately built a, a kind of platform on the roof that we climbed up to Grand State. We did every normal things in the, in, up there. With a few of the things we could carry up there. The rest of our load was inside the flood water. So, as I will manage until the flood water I drive up,
then my parents started talking about a fast thing that they wanted to do. First, my mother brought it up that all the to her that that they had to do a fasting of 21 days, three weeks, for God to show them a further way in life because they had lived their life in a kind of shutdown. So, say that me and my sister are not going to join in that fasting. That is only for you and my mother. So, Two weeks into the fasting, I know my father has stopped moving, stopped talking, stopped doing what every normal living woman does. Was just lying down there on the ground the, the, that the flood water has destroyed. All I know on the ground, there was some clothes that he threw down on the ground, just lying down there. I was wondering, I was so afraid. Like, I, I went to my mom that was already weak. I told her, Mom, look at what is happening. She told me that I should not worry that God. I went to see God that he was, he was engaging in a kind of meditation. I was talking to God that he was, in, he had an, he was kind of having an encounter with God that he's going to come back alive. And we are going to continue our life. I was, I was not so sure of that space. I always believed the words of my parents. I should always believe them. I listened to what my mother said. When she, so my, man, my mother managed to finish the fast, so she was also very weak. So I told her, Mom, this is what is happening. That has not gotten me. It's, it's, it's tied to stink and it's getting bloated and all that. He said, I should not worry. She still told me the same thing. So you could imagine when she too stopped moving, stopped all form of communication, was not talking, just lying down on the end there also. I also thought that it was the same thing as, as, as she told me that he was, he went to see God that he's going to come back alive. I also told her it was the same thing. I've never seen a dead person. I don't know about funerals. I've never entered any occasions. If any occasion, my father is the one that will always go for it. Even he doesn't go unless he just wants to go for it. So we don't know about it. About that kind of, I don't know about that kind of thing. So when, when it happened, I thought the same thing. I waited for like long months. We were like, uh, me and my sister, my sister, my sister was afraid, my younger sister was afraid. My sister, I told her I should not be afraid that after all, it's, it's no mom and dad. And what they always tell us, like, you always believe them that it always comes to, to pass. So she told me that I should open the door because they locked the door. All of us are inside doing the fasting. We started starving out. At the point, we had to eat what the sugar cane and candle. That became our steady diet. More, no money, nothing. We are starving. So, I will not hold it back any longer. I went to meet one of the neighbors. I was just standing there. I just said, let me just spill out everything because I'm starving. I'm watching my sister machete every day. So, I told him everything. My name is Elizabeth. One evening I was coming from my work. And before now, the father of the girl is a pastor. He comes around with fresh water from Whenever he's going out, we we'll greet and uh, just that how I know him. He's no longer known to He's a preacher. He preaches. He goes out for preaching every day. So inside I buses. Before you've not been seeing them. Again. Don't know this. Don't, don't, don't see them. Don't see them. But I know the father. But I don't know the mother inside. I've not seen him. Look, look at my house. My neighbor, my wife, for three years. I don't know her. So they approached my wife to She gave them food stuff and kind of her. So the next time again, she came the next day. That raised the curiosity. I said, Look, no, are you okay? Where are your parents? Mm -hmm. They said they are fine. She told me that they are fine. Until on Saturday, there I finally took them to the station to report this incident because I'm not reporting it. So as I just drove in, parked there, she met me directly. 
that uh, she will want to tell me the truth about the matter. But you know, it's true, I've asked her about the parents and uh, she told me that uh, my dad actually uh, they went into fast. Understand? 21 days fast. They say after the fasting that at the time that the father stopped moving, that she complained to the mother. The mother said they should not worry. That uh, that's how God directed her that to rise. Understand? I said, no, this one is. I said, do you know what you're talking about? She said, yes, she knew. I said, okay, no problem. I have to call the neighbor, other landlords, and some policemen around. I said, no, let's verify. But then my wife gave them food. They were right inside that place eating the food before we now came in there. We knocked, they opened, only for us to see. She's already decayed. Decayed already. I waste no time. I have to drive them straight to the police station. We made the DPO. That's how I put them instead. So they now came here to verify. It's at about 11 in the Came to verify that it was true. The girl gave her own side of the story. Then we start. They started the investigation on how to get to the family. And uh, that is just all the kinds of things. So the sanitary and the police they came and uh, they were the and the women. So what do you mean uh, that they are inside with them? They don't come out, they don't go to school or anything. They don't go to school. She said she has never been. But the mother lectured to teach them from elementary to even secondary school level. But it sounds, I don't know. To lecture them, teach them, give them when it is time for elementary school and it is examination, they will pass. Hello, Mama. He didn't understand the extent of what has happened. He thought that maybe they are sick, maybe they needed to go to the hospital, maybe they to get drip. And that's, he thought that that's why he didn't understand what really happened. So he said that he couldn't get involved in this all alone, that he had to call some of the neighbors. So we called the neighbors and they came to our compound. They opened the door, they asked what happened. That's when they now realized that this is what has been going on. Some of them really blamed me that as old as I am, I'm 18 years old, why couldn't I raise the alarm and say that even when my mom was still I was I don't know when I this is what my mom said. They said that even though your mom said your mom said that you could go you could go and go and raise alarm that they would have helped my mom. She will still be in her life today. I said, well, it's not my fault. It was how I was raised up. I was raised up by my parents. And I said that the man, the man, I told him that he alone cannot do that. This case has to go to the police. And this is how we reach the police to see the portal court. So that's how we went here. We stayed here. They said that someone here is going to say that. It's very wonderful. One of the officers who opened the chair. It looks so weird. So at the point, another thing that they themselves cannot take care of us, that we had to go somewhere, either to the orphanage room. But they said that we are too old for orphanage rooms. We need to the place also that we could grow up and be, at least become something in life. He knew that our background was on Google, we would make it up in life. And they were not thinking. At the point, I didn't know where to go. I, had to, I was just wondering where could I go in life. The woman that was taking care of us told, told me that she don't know where to drop. Now, if, if we were babies, I would have us at orphanage, babies, small children, I would have us at orphanage home. But now we are grown ups. What do we do? Or the association was she you think about it. She not told me that. Have I heard of OPM? Have I heard of Apostle Chibis or Gift Chain? I say yes, because my mother had a radio at home. I've heard him the, when they are doing his advertisement or radio, yes. Apostle uh, Chibis or Gift Chain, OPM, Dr. Jesus, God is here. And she not told me that, yes, that that man, Apostle Chibis or Gift Chain, will take care of me. That he could train me in school up to university level. That he would make me 
I would make my life into something good in life. So, and I said, I was surprised. I was like, I heard of all the things he has been doing. I heard that he's, he's a very he's charitable man, he's a good man of God, he's a wonderful guy. I was like, ah, OPM. I said, okay. So the case went on, went on, went on, on and on. We stayed in the women's cell under protective, protective custody. So we stayed there. Then finally, then I, from there, then I came to one of two of them that was working in the state side. Then I came to drop us at OPM as I came to daddy's house. There were two girls that were brought to me. One is eight, one is eighteen. I want to ask, come, redemption. I want to ask a question. Please, eh? redemption. Um, what um, primary school did you attend? I was taught by my mother at home. At home? Yes. So you've never attended any primary school? What was secondary school? I was also taught at home. At home. Yes. Look at her. So how many days did you before you went outside? You know, because you were inside the room. How many how long were you inside the room with the cops of your father and your mother? How long? So, eh? Wait, how long? There's like a month. And now, by the grace of God, I'm using the orphan and tithe and giving them the best of everything. From here, that's when I've learned to associate with people. I was in this people in my real life. Before, before I, I came to Apostle Chibu's house, which I've not seen this one. I know they said in pictures, in, in textbooks, that my God, my dad, for the, the school my, I was school at, my dad wrote textbooks and notebooks. I only see it in pictures. Hmm. Well, because my mom is always at home, she has nothing to do, she, so she wants to always judge cooking. <laughs> and I was not really interested, I was really boiled with her. Well, my sister is in primary four. She, my mother taught her up to primary four. For the, and, and, as the incident happened, she's eight years old. She's shy, never been, never seen kids like me. But she's, she has already started to warm up. In fact, she's not, she's not playing with them. She's not understanding how life is. When I went to school, I, the first time I entered the school bus, last day, when I entered the school bus, I associated I with other students. I understood how a classroom is like, and students are like in school, how the teachers, all the things. I've not experienced that in my life before, all last thing. That's a few months ago. It's this year, general, recently. That's been great. It's wonderful. It's, it's eye opening. The only thing that happens happens for 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 good. Like, even though I lost my parents, I should take us in this part that yes, I brought education to, the, to our side. I brought good luck to their side. When I watch my, my fellow children outside through the window, and as I wonder how is, I wonder if I imagine myself living that kind of life, how will I be at this age? How do I, how do I integrate myself into that? How do I learn this in life? They don't talk to people. Even to my relations, I don't know my relations because of it. They don't go to our village for like for, I'm 18 right now, for 18 years. I'm not going to my village. I don't know my relations. Like in my uncles or my auntie. That's me, but I'm not 
because I've not seen them before since I was born. There has been one that has been great. I've, I, in my life, I've never, I'm, I've never dreamt that I would, I would be like in this kind of place. Because I always wondered when my parents break out from this kind of life, they will leave me. What will I get to meet people? What, what will I be in life? Which my parents are living this kind of secluded and isolated life. Always wonderful. I thank Apostle Chibu of Gift Children for accepting me and my sister into his life and taking care of us in, in the way I have never expected. Boy also came. Hey, let's see, hey, see that boy. <laughs> Very boy, daddy boy. See this boy. <laughs> He's very that you especially you. I'm going to buy clothes for you. I had to add the boy enter the enter one of the escort cars. Well, now it's the beauty. They bought some clothes. Daddy said that there was actually poverty that he knows right now they cannot send their children to school. He was seeing children playing and instead of being in school, they are playing around all, all sorts of things. So I said he's going to be a free school for them. It was 14 free schools now, he's making it 15. During that time, we were waiting for our parents to come back from when my mother did that. My father is coming back. <laughs> my mother was here, alive life but it was better that she was. I don't see it. My mother was. I like, we we'll just go outside, buy the car, all these snacks. But we are eating, we eating strange, strange. Let me tell you all the other things we are eating. I'm going to believe that me, my sister, my sister, I can't eat. I'm eating those guys eat bread, like he's fifteen hundred, and so he decided to grind oil. I eat it. We eat twice a day. You want to eat a sugar cane or that kind of in the afternoon? Imagine that for like one month. I'm going to die if you haven't even managed to walk all these hats in the room. So, like, let me just go and say that. You know, every morning we just beat, you wake up later. It's still like that. You know, it's, it's 12. I even timed it. I'll say now, I'll tell her that. Can you manage to stay up till 12? You know, it's because if you want to eat now, not in. It's just because of you, we are not eating in the morning till afternoon. Which we have to push push again. We push again to we had injuries in our mouth. Push again to the same thing. And in the, in the evening, that's when we go up. We enter inside the house, lock the door, enter inside the house. No, not the house was so quiet, nothing. We just only our neighbors' sounds. We are inside the house. We just go up stadium, whatever else to eat. And there was the hope that was in my heart that my parents just get off. I was even wondering. And the, that Christmas, that December, that December was the, the saddest and the loneliest Christmas I ever had. Because all that years I was waiting that my mom would get up, cook rice, <laughs> chicken, chicken or any other things. But it did not happen. January, my eye opened first of January. I woke up, so I, I asked myself when I woke up that morning. So this is how Christmas passed. My parents are still lying on that ground. And so I, I was just, I was so, that first of, that first of January, I was, I was uncomfortable throughout that day. We were just starting, like, like, my, my people were saying that if I knew my relations, at least I would have called my relations. I had to, for this one thing, even though I didn't have some, this one, I called my relations, I looked at what's happening. What's happening? They would have, they would have, at least, because my husband, uh, my mom to the hospital. That even though my father is, uh, my, my father is dead, that she would have been the one to take care of us. Um, I would have gone on in life, but since I don't know anybody, and it's strange for you to have me strangers, you don't even know them. Like if I knew my, if I had been, you would have been friends with my neighbors. Uh huh. Or even case. Who told me that? Look at the man. Look at the man. The man that said that thing. What are they doing? Look at, look at our house. Look at the man's house. Yeah. Because you don't know they have. 
he grew up to that like now it's something like old enough when we see it old enough to get married as yeah son it's not very they say no it's, it's, it's not true that's what I'm saying I was saying funny funny things I was saying I got it was really my father that how can you I tear up <laughs> like this in your house you don't even know that as your daughter like me and sometimes I used to think that if my parents had allowed me the opportunity of doing that, where would I be in life? Where would I be in life? But everything comes to me is on good so I don't really regret about that. Where would I be in life? So school is like the starvation that pushed you, pushed us out. It was hunger that pushed us out. I was even going to say that girl will try you, that she was more scared of that dead, those dead bodies. They are not there. I was saying that, you know that parents, where would they? I said they didn't try you. When you were saying that oh, your parents died, I already was so scared of entering into the room and all that. I said, they didn't try you. I said, no. Stay inside that place. I want to thank our daddy, my daddy, big man in the Lord, yes, for building, yes, for building, because he took us, like, <laughs> how did I say, 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 how did into the place here I was living before he came, uh, he came here. And we see how that place is because we went there. So as we arrived there, I saw my neighbors. They couldn't. <laughs> they recognized it. They, 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 they said that I, I need to change. Like I look a I little look fresher. I look, I look like I'm being taken care of very well. Like, hmm. It can, it can laugh, mm-hmm. right? she doesn't laugh. Mm-hmm. Laughter is natural, but the nature mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. that was died mm-hmm. away from her. But today, the nature has mm-hmm. come mm-hmm. He can laugh, mm-hmm. he can smile. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So our daddy said that he's going to be one of the free schools there for poor children like us. At least 10.5 million children lack access to safe and quality education. This is the case of children residing in the New Jerusalem Ogoni settlement situated at Umebule 2 in a chair local government area of River State with over 600 children of school age that have never seen the four walls of education. Lily, true, true, this place we are we're living in darkness. So we're living here with bad boys, with some of cottages, because here is near water. After this place is water. So we are living here, and bad boys always trouble us, and we are not having money to put our children like I. I have three children. I don't even put any of them for school because I have no money. The condition I came to meet this place was too bad. The thing is that children have not been go- going to school. Unlike me, I was saying if I have the opportunity, I will send some of them to the school, but I couldn't. By the special grace of God, God brought our daddy here, that our daddy come and build this school for us, for our children. So I really appreciate God that at least many children, they have not been going to school. People, they have up to seven children, eight children, none of them have been going to school. But by the special grace of God, as Daddy has helped us and build this school, this school now, they will all go to school in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. When you look around the environment, you see an environment that just feed up the open. There's nothing moving. Will this survive by sand digging? Will this survive by fufu makers? We survive by all these liberal jobs. Water leave makers. Water leave makers. We drink water from the river. Even the water from the river. From the river that is already polluted. Before that is not coming. So now that we are we have we have come to this point, we are happy. We are happy. Maybe this is how God wanted to remember us. We thank God for everything. I'll give him all the Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Came here, no school, no hospital, no water. The day Apostle Chibuzo came here, he saw a child with a torn pieces sneaker on his waist. Apostle Chibuzo carried that little child to the boutique and bought clothes for him. Since that day, Apostle Chibuzo commissioned started school in this village. And since then, the old villagers, children, everybody, have been, were happy that yes, they will now go to school. 
nobody in this community that is able to send a child to even the lowest school. No child, no children go to school in this community. I've gone to Chibuzo came around 10, 11, 12, where children so were supposed to be in the school. All I put Chibuzo saw children, he shed tears, he had compassion and pity, and established school in this community. The 18 year old's redemption, Pepper, and her little sister, Love It, are orphans. Their parents were said to have died while fasting for 21 days and their body decomposed in the rooms where the children lived. It was traumatic. It was hard to but I resolved. Me and my, my sister resolved to go through it and come out. The visit of the OPM general overseer to the scene of the incident changed the story of this community for good. This is Ogoni camp. Yes, sir. And uh, because of these two beautiful children, God has remembered this community yes, and brought water and school. Amen. 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 So today, I dedicate this to the name of the Father, Amen. Amen. and of the Son, Amen. Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Dr. Maureen Chuku is the welfare director of OPM. She speaks further on the modalities for admission into the school. They will start by two letter words, three letter words, know how to read blanks, and before we send them. And I tell you, we are using our phonics teachers, so we've got it all. He did not promise one year back, he promised just a few months back, within the pandemic. Mobilized people to set to put up this building for a school in a place where nobody could reach. My brother, what story do you want me to tell? Apart from the free education, the community lacked portable water and healthcare facilities. Water has been provided with free hospital on the way. Apostle Chibuzo Chinyere urged the benefiting community to ensure security of these facilities for sustainability. From Umebule to a chair local government.